you go down to the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. How big? Well, that big. 5.9 metres of Mercedes Sprinter. RP Motorhomes Rebel Twin and about a hundred grand's worth. And the Woods Parkwood off-road centre near Bradford, we've been driving through the mud, up slippery banks, through, oh, I don't know how deep, mud puddles, splashing away, and we just couldn't get it stuck. It's quite incredible what this motorhome will do, places it will go where a camper van shouldn't. Perhaps not everywhere that the trials bikes that are around here have gone because they're a little bit smaller than us, but this goes where no motorhome should go. And look at it, it's got BF Goodrich all-terrain tyres on those black Rhino alloys. But otherwise, it looks quite discreet, just standing that much higher than a normal Mercedes Sprinter. Apart from the stance standing so much higher than usual, this RP Motorhomes van looks quite subtle, doesn't it? Just metallic grey paint, these nice flush fit windows, Thule Omni store awning, of course, fly screen on the door, barbecue point just aft of the uh, sliding door, but then there are some nice little touches. So much easier than sliding a door. It's a bit of a climb up into this cab, but it's worth it when you get here. Nice, chunky little car-like steering wheel. Adjustable tilt angle for the squab, and you can even extend the centerpiece here if you're long in the leg. Starting is literally on the button, and then you select gears with what looks like an indicator stalk. You release the handbrake with a switch and the automatic box is super super smooth the engine this one's the 316 if you want the ultimate in smooth power then go for the 319 but you won't feel too short changed with this it's got plenty of grunt for such what's really quite a, such a small motorhome, just under six metres long. Doesn't the cab feel sophisticated with this built-in sat-nav? And it just, it's very easy to drive, even in these conditions. Four-wheel drive is just selected on a switch, low range with another switch, and then it just makes life easy. And your adventures can be a lot more exciting than in your typical front-wheel drive motorhome. For what is really quite a compact motorhome at just a bit over 5.9 metres long, this lounge area really feels quite spacious and it is very comfortable too. It's a, a U shape as we've got it arranged here, plenty of room to get your feet up. 1.7 meter, 1.78 meters long on that side, 1.9 meters this side, and on each each side your feet tuck under the furniture if you're using these as single beds or as or as day beds. On this side you've got the wardrobe, and on that side the uh, kitchen worktop overhangs a bit. If you don't want a U shape, well it's quick enough to rearrange into two conventional settees, and the great thing is that you don't need an army of extra cushions. Just rearrange the backrest slightly, slide the base away, and now you've got two sofas. And this area then becomes your dining area as well. And simply an island leg dining table. Plenty of room if you've got guests in for the evening, room to get to get four of you around this table, no trouble at all. And on a summer's day, you can have these back doors wide open, enjoying the view. We won't do that now, because it's gone dark and it's about three degrees outside. Nice and toasty and warm in here though, because we've got a six kilowatt Truma diesel and electric heating system, which is keeping us really rather cozy. Whilst we're back here, it's also worth looking at storage. Now we've got these three good sized top lockers above, but it's also important what you've got under the seats. Now they're easily accessible. Slatted bed bases, of course. Look how well covered the original Mercedes wheel arch is. Now you've got plenty of room 
in there for all your bedding. And at the front of that locker is your lithium leisure battery. And then on the off side, you haven't got quite so much space because this is more of a services area. But in that space, you've got your inboard 90 litre fresh water tank where it will never freeze because right alongside, you've also got your combi diesel heater. Now, you can, of course, as I said, sleep singly. Just take the backrest cushions off and you've got two single beds. This one on the off side, slightly longer. But if you want a double, that's no problem. You just slide out the seat bases and then as you walk back there's more supports come across and it takes a few seconds and you've got a really big double bed of course you can take these cushions off the back off the back doors as well if you need the extra length but for sitting up in bed it's really rather good like this and then you've got 22 inch tv there if you prefer uh, music to uh, pictures, you've got a radio above, you've got USB sockets up there as well, and lots of lighting if you want to sit and read. Reading lights in the corners, these nice LED strips, and touch operated ceiling lights as well. And then the blinds, all round, other posh pleated type, and you've got plenty of ventilation, little roof vent, opening windows all around you, Time for bed. The kitchen, well, you could almost be in an upmarket domestic kitchen with this posh Corian worktop, really deep sink with proper full-size plumbing. Swap over the sink lid and you've got a chopping board in set. And if you need a bit more worktop, of course it's Corian as well there. And then the cooker, you've got an induction ring there and two gas as well. So if you're not hooked up or you haven't got access to mains electricity, you have got your gas as well. Best of both worlds. Underneath, you've got your Thetford duplex oven and grill, quite a typical motorhome fitting, but this one also has an optional microwave. And despite all that, you've still got good storage. Cutlery drawer there, really good size drawer for your pots and pans and then over on the other side three small drawers that you might use for your smalls or you might use them as overflow from the kitchen. Fridge above, 90 litre compressor model so that is very much switch on and forget and being a compressor type fridge it's a lot less upset by uh, the van being parked on, a, on an angle. Now in this latest Rebel RP have managed to find a bit more space in the washroom and it feels a good size for a compact motorhome. When you're showering, there's no clingy curtain. You've got this bifold door that just comes across. And to protect the window blind, there's a separate blind. How about that for detail thinking? Your soap dispensers there. Your shower hose and even a little lockable medicine cabinet. Loo is the Thetford bench type toilet, which is a bit easier to clean, and has slightly larger receptacle, and this nice Corian worktop again round the basin with a little bit of worktop alongside as well. If you can't get your partner out of bed at the back of the van in the morning, well, you can come and sit here. It's very comfortable, of course. Just get this one swivel seat in the cab, but you've got the worktop extension from the kitchen for your cup of coffee or cocoa or whatever, and you can sit here and enjoy the morning papers. And perhaps sit back and reflect on the fact that you've bought a very special motorhome. There's a, a feeling of quality throughout this RP van. But more than that, because it's the four-wheel drive off-road version, you can go anywhere and it, there's no fear about getting stuck. And um, wet grass is just a thing of the past. You won't even worry about that. But if you really want to get down those rough tracks, get off, but off the beaten track, this is where you need to be looking. <laughs>